Today we're gonna make some really fun waffle cookies using my easy sugar dough cookie recipe and that's what we have right here. What I have here is a one tablespoon measure. We're just going to grab our dough and I just wanna even that off. Just like that and I've weighed these out and these are 16 grams. I'm just gonna pop that onto a tray. And this dough is at room temperature. And what I've done to make this accurate, I've weighed it out 16 grams on my little scale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making a bunch of these and then I'm gonna set up with my little panini press and then I'll be back. So you just wanna pack each one of those into your little measure, just like that just get them ready for the panini press. So at this point I've set up, I've plugged my panini press in and I've set the heat to medium. So we're just gonna let that heat up and then I'm gonna show you quickly how to make these. These are really, really fun. Before I forget, I wanted to mention that this dough here is my easy sugar dough recipe and I will put a link to that in the description box. So now my little green light has come on indicating that the press is ready to be used. I'm just going to lift that up. You can see a lot of the heat pouring out. And I'm just going to grab one of these. I'll put one there and one here. And we're just going to close it up. And we'll just let that go for a couple of minutes. Really, really fun cookies in this little machine. And there we have it. That's about a minute and 45 seconds. I'm just going to gently lift them off. Ooh, hot. There's one. Fun. Let's do two more. And I'm going to make these ones a little bit lighter. These, I like these because they turn out really, really crunchy. So I'll make a couple a little bit lighter than that. But look at how fun those are. So I'll let those go and then I'll be back. So I'm just going to give this a little check. Okay, those look pretty good. You can see almost golden brown but not as dark as these ones. So these here won't be as crispy. So if you want a really nice crispy cookie, these ones here, that's what will fit the bill. So I'll take these out. Look at that. And then you just want to let those cool. And if you want to do another step, you can take your cookies once they're cooled and dip them into chocolate. Really, really nice as well. So I'm going to turn this off and then I'm going to zoom in on our nice waffle cookies. So I've just zoomed in, just so that you can see these a lot closer up. These ones here are almost completely cool. Now these ones are still pretty warm, but there we have it. I personally like them like this because they are crunchy. And listen to this. Look at this. You can just break them into little sticks, which makes them fun as well. Really, really nice. And then you've got this one, less baked, if you don't want something as crunchy. So two really fun ways to use your panini press and make really fun waffle cookies. I hope you enjoyed this really fast video. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. That's it, and I'll see you next time. Mmm. Really, really yummy. Mmm. I love the crunch.